Hello friends and welcome to Ravi Maza and today we are going to talk about why we cannot wash a RO membrane and again reuse it for uh, our RO water purifiers so friends this is a 75 GPD sorry 80 GPD Wontron membrane and I am going to show you why we cannot wash this membrane uh, open this membrane so what we will do is uh, we will actually try to open this membrane and uh, we will try to wash it and we will try to again pack it like this only so we can reuse it into a membrane housing so friends let's get started for this exercise we will need some water bucket of water and a membrane and something to scrub I have taken this brush for scrubbing the membrane so let's open up the membrane and friends this is just for education purpose if you want to try this at your home you can but I won't recommend it to you for using this membrane again so we will actually remove this first tape and we will keep it secure some place so we can use it again later so I'll just stick it over here behind and later I'll remove this ring okay this we will require again so now let's open up the membrane Uh, how can I wash this? Okay, this is the sticky part which I don't have to get it wet. So I will try to wash this part if I can get it open. Ew, it's so dirty. So we will uh, directly. wash this membrane inside water okay first thing we need to keep in mind these are the separators which is they will be inside the membrane sheet this is the membrane sheet so let's get started oh, oh this sheet is getting sticking Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying. This is the end of the membrane, okay? Okay friends, let's add some caustic soda. Yeah. So this is the caustic soda. Sorry, baking soda. So let's try. Use this also to wash our membrane. Clean, clean membrane. Okay friends, this is far. One can do, uh, otherwise one can Scrub this the entire.
this is one separator just keep in mind that this thing is done by the machine it's not done by the hand so it's going to be a difficult thing here goes the first one now the second one the second separator okay this is not aligned properly the first one needed to be aligned properly over here it's a difficult task for me <laughs> okay let's roll the first one Yes, come on. Push. Push. Ah. See something. The air. Got some air inside the membrane. Huh? Yes, we have air inside the membrane. So, friends. We have a balloon inside the membrane. Mm. So, uh, what we have to do now, we managed to roll the membrane, but we caught air inside the membrane. So, we need to remove the air first, get rid of the air. Oh, I don't think so, it's possible. at home after washing it after giving it a wash I just think that if I could give it a wash in a car care in a car wash If I mastered this, you know, I'll earn billions <laughs> just for washing membranes. People will come from come to me to just wash their membranes, and I'll say that okay, take so much of money and wash my membrane. But it's not possible. Okay, let's roll, rock and roll, babe. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let it be, let it be, let let the air be there. Actually, the air is escaping somewhere. Okay, this was the closest 
spiral bonding I could make. And I'll use a rod like this to rotate or tighten the spiral windings. Great. But friends, is really this much necessary for a membrane? I think you can purchase this a new membrane at very cheap cost rather than wasting your time like this. So, uh, ah, this was my dream to make a video of washing a RO membrane like this. Ah, great. I don't think so this is going to stick back. But let's try again. We'll need this rod. <clears throat> oh, I'm very bad at sticking things. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, if you manage to do this, uh, reach up to this much. Okay. And I am. If you're watching this video, uh, you have got a lot of patience. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for watching all uh, videos related to reverse osmosis. This is just a sample. This is just not what we do. It's just uh, what you should not do. Okay, friends, as far as my technical knowledge, the membrane uh, diameter has changed. Now I don't think so this will go inside the membrane housing itself and other thing is that the separator it's not adjusted properly okay fine this gasket over here I don't know whether it will expand or not okay so let's give it a try anyhow we wasted yeah let's <coughs> stick this thing Ta-da! Here's your membrane, friends. Freshly washed. And let's go. I need. Uh, I think I need to tape over here. And let's check it whether this will stick inside my membrane housing. Uh, will it give a waste water, reject water, or any sort of water out of it? So, friends, let's go towards my sink. Uh, before going towards our sink friends, I need to put some duct tape otherwise I think that this will come out, the sheet will fall out. Okay, I'll put some duct tape over here and also from over here. Uh. Huh? So let me bring a membrane housing. Hmm, friends. So, hope this does not ruin my membrane housing. Okay, it's going perfectly. Okay, it has went inside perfectly. And secured perfectly. So, let's give it a try. Let's check it. Okay, friends. So, this is from a booster pump. Let's Plug it, give it supply. Start. 
okay reject order is coming and product order is not coming that's a good thing that means at least the membrane is not torn so now i will put flow restrictor on its reject side i will be putting a flow restrictor of fr450 i would have a bigger smaller pipe so i'm using a bigger pipe let me mind okay. i'll give a flow restrictor of 450 and to my surprise oh motor is coming outside yes the water is coming product water is coming product water uh, How? Product order is coming. Thanks. Okay, yeah, I don't know how. As you can see that product order is falling. Huh? Okay, friends. So. Let's check the TDS of the reject water that is coming. Sorry, the product water, TDS of the product water that is coming. But flow is very slow, very slow. It's nothing like before. It's not a much a huge. It was like it was not giving anything before, but it is giving something at least. So uh, let's see the TDS. Yeah, the TDS is uh, 98 friends, and uh, if I see the TDS of my this water, it is 82. Actually, it's adding some residue from the membrane. That means it is adding up the membrane's residue that is inside. so it's not a good sign and flow is uh, really not good it's like uh, you can consider 3 to it's 5 to 6 liters per hour flow as i can see very low and the tds is not good it's not giving good results that's why friends i myself i don't consider washing the aro membrane and reusing it because it is useless thing it is the most the greatest time waste of time you can do if you run a lot of time and just doing this for education purpose that you people don't fall for false videos and waste your time behind washing your arm and see the flow it has decreased again it has decreased deadly curious seems to be improved but the flow has decreased deadly that means the membrane has again locked up uh this is not not good flow at all this is what the membrane used to flow before i washed that means it's nothing and the tds is 80 so it's total waste of time friends don't waste your time behind washing a uh, aro membrane okay thank you very much friends if if you are not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe and please give me a thumbs up for this video i know this is a huge video this has become a huge video but it's really worth of it watching thank you much friends take care and good day